Welcome to Kinda In Depth, a series where we go in depth on certain champions in League of Legends, but not too in depth because nobody really cares what I think. In this episode of Kinda In Depth, we are going to be covering Aurelia, the Will of the Blades. Aurelia is a really interesting champion in League of Legends with an amazing kit that makes her really exciting to play with, with, with great mobility. <clears throat> Excuse me, where was I? Yeah, so the mo mobility is fantastic on Aurelia and her ability to shred through tanks make her even more lethal as a top laner. This Ionia captain can be actually unkillable with her huge blade. I mean, like Fizz may have a huge freaking shark now, but Aurelia's threat with her sword will allow you to win almost every fight you take. Not only is Aurelia extremely threatening, she has a sense of humor too. My blade is not only precise, but totally gnarly. For masteries on Aurelia, I like to run an 18012 mastery page, with the keystone mastery being Fervor of Battle. These 18 points in ferocity add to Aurelia's lethality, and Fervor of Battle is perfect for Aurelia because of how auto attack reliant Aurelia is. Insight is also extremely important on Aurelia because Flash is really strong on her for the engage and closing down enemies with your Q, so you will need these shorter cooldowns on your summoner spells. For runes, I like to run a rune page more focused on the mid game since Aurelia is so weak early game anyways. I like to run 9 attack speed marks along with 3 attack speed quints. This will help you destroy enemies, more specifically tanks, because the more you can auto attack with your W and fervor of battle will help you win these trades. I also like to run 9 armor seals and 9 MR scaling glyphs. These will help you win teamfights later by adding on to your defensive stats. For summoner spells, I always will run Teleport and Flash on Aurelia. Flash is absolutely vital on her because you will need it to get even more mobility in chasing enemies or fleeing from ganks. Teleport is also preferred, in my opinion, because of the amount of map pressure it gives you. Whether that means teleporting bot lane or using it to do some split pushing later on in the game, it can be utilized in many ways. Ignite can be supplemented for Teleport, however, if you want to be more aggressive and snowball your lane even harder. If you remember from earlier in the video, Aurelia truly does have an amazing kit. If you have ever played Yasuo and like running around everywhere like an idiot, I think you really like Aurelia. Her mobility is found in her Q, Blade Surge, which dashes Aurelia to an enemy and deals a great amount of physical damage. This is reset however if you last hit that enemy target, and 35 mana is refunded. Be careful though against an enemy champion like Jax and Fiora, because your Q is considered a melee attack and will be blocked by Jax's E and Fiora's W. Your W, hit in style, heals you with your basic attacks. However, when activated, your auto attacks deal bonus true damage and double your basic attack healing. This is the main reason why Aurelia can shred tanks and has an insane sustain in teamfights and in laning phase. Your E, your best setup for a really good combo, is called Equilibrium Strike. This will slow the enemy target, but will only stun if the enemy has equal or more current health than you at the moment of casting the ability. Always be on the lookout for the correct time to engage, because Aurelia is one of the few champions that is better fighting with lower health, because not only will you stun, but you will also heal on your basic attacks thanks to your W. Your ultimate, Transcendent Blades, flings 4 blades forward, dealing physical damages to your enemies, and also heals Aurelia for 25% of the damage dealt with those blades. No, I didn't forget Aurelia's passive, Ionian Fervor, I just kinda think it's kinda lame compared to the rest of her kit. While it is important because it reduces crowd control on Aurelia with more enemies by her, and makes her strong in teamfights, I guess I kinda just want some cooler. L lol. For lane matchups, Aurelia does a decent job against the majority of top laners. Aurelia is strong against champions such as Yasuo, Gnar, and Riven. You have just as much as mobility as Yasuo, and you can easily stun him. Gnar can jump only so far away from you before you can easily queue back onto him and slay him. Also, him turning into Mega Gnar almost always means an easy stun since his increase in health. You can take advantage of Riven by stunning her following her combo because you will be lower health, and this will lead you to easy harass since she will be on cooldowns and you will have your Q to jump on her again. However, Aurelia has a weak spot for Olaf, Pantheon, and Darius. Olaf's ultimate will make your E useless, and he can outsustain you, especially once he gets some items. Pantheon can outpoke you with his Q and can block your E if played correctly. Darius can be a matchup that's winnable if played right. If you are able to escape his your Q reset, then he cannot take advantage of his W slow. However, be careful of him dragging you away with his E and not having your Q up will leave you dead. 
The items you build on Aurelia are actually really important because Aurelia's mid to late game can be very punishing for the enemy teams with the correct items built. I like to start the game with the Doran's Blade for the little life steal and extra damage it gives you in the early game. The first item you'll want to buy, however, is Triforce. Trinity Force was the main reason that Aurelia was so banned heavily in Season 6 with the changes that was made to the item. The Sheen proc complements the Aurelia nicely on your ultimate and W, and the added attack speed along with the Phage movement speed passive will make killing your targets easy. Ninja Tabbies will be the pair of booties you will want to buy on Aurelia due to the common nature of Aurelia dueling enemies. The less damage taken, the better. This can also be supplemented for Mercury Treads or Swiftness Boots, but Ninja Tabbies are going to be your best bet. Following your boots and Triforce, you'll want to pick up an armor item. If you need to grab an MR item third due to being up against an AP laner, grab what I mentioned later on in the build. However, for this armor item, you will want to buy a Frozen Heart. This can also easily be replaced with Deadman's Plate or Randuin's Omen. Any of these three armor items will be vital in you sending yourself on your way to being an unstoppable tank carry. Following this item, you'll want to pick up a Yomu's Ghost Blade. This item will be extremely strong on Aurelia because of the added movement speed in its unique passive and its armor penetration mixed with your W true damage, allowing you to destroy your enemies, especially any tanks. Next, pick up a Spear Visage. Spear Visage complements the healing from your W well, and it also adds in upgrading your defensive stats and cooldown reduction. Lastly, a vital item to pick up is Guardian's Angel. Not only will this item make you a monster tank that still does an insane amount of damage, it will also give you an amazing presence in teamfights along with your great mobility. Additional items to pick up if you to replace any of these other items can be Blade of the Rune King, Sterax Gage, or Maul of Marmordius. Now that I've given you the information to prepare you to fight, how do you maximize your potential on Aurelia? Well, the first tip is to max your W first, followed by Q, E, and R when possible. This is due to the shred potential of your W and also the nice sustain it provides in lane. Tip number 2 is that levels 1 through 5, or before 6, are when Aurelia is weakest. Take advantage of your level 6 power spike that comes with Sheen. Once Sheen is bought and you are level 6, you become extremely strong in your duels. Take advantage of this and hop onto your enemies and grab yourself a kill. Tip number 3 is to not use your Q before you stun. To clarify, do not put your Q on cooldown before you stun. This way you will always be able to dash onto your enemy if they burn a flash or run away. Tip numero 4 is to always get your E off on an enemy before you get ganked by your ally jungler. Even if it doesn't kill, the slow should allow for a good enough time to get the kill. Tip number 5 actually relates back to number 3. Be sure to try and auto attack a caster minion in the back of the wave to allow yourself to Q to that minion to attack your enemy. When you use your ultimate on an engage against an enemy champion, make sure to auto attack between each ultimate proc. This way you can maximize your damage for the sheen proc. And this is tip number 6. Tip number 7 is to use your ultimate right as you engage onto an enemy. This way, if needed, you can Q to a minion that has taken damage from your ultimate and reset your Q to get onto your enemy quicker. The last tip, tip number 8, is definitely important in chasing down enemies in the jungle. Always look for jungle creeps like a mini bird or a small wolf to Q onto and reset your Q and gain huge ground in chasing down your enemy and locking down the kill. There you have it. Aurelia truly is the warrior of the way, the captain of the crew, the sexy carry cute as a bear, Aww. and has the will of the blaze. Show the people of Ionia the true patriot you are, and effortlessly cut down the enemies like you did the Noxians. Nothing can stop you with this build. But most of all, remember to have fun. After all, this champion guide was only kinda in depth anyways. Cut them down. It ends here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. I wanted to take a few quick seconds here to quickly discuss one thing. This was one of the longest periods that I went without uploading a video, especially in the last couple months, and I want to kind of explain myself. It was extremely busy. I had a lot of concerts with school and stuff because I'm in the band and orchestra and everything else you can think of 
Um, just a lot of busy times, a lot of homework and things like that. I traveled out of town for Thanksgiving unexpectedly early, so I couldn't finish out this video. Um, but let me tell you, I have things in the works. It should be pretty exciting. I'm excited to where this channel is going to head. We have Christmas break. That's awesome. I've been streaming almost every day on Twitch, so if you missed that, follow me down there. But I just wanted to take this um, short couple seconds here to let you guys know what's going on and know that more videos will be coming in the future. Sorry if you were um, let down by the lack of uploads. And I also want to take just like 10 seconds to thank you guys so much for all the support recently on the channel. I want to welcome all of you new subs. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the kind of in-depth series. Let me know any suggestions for champions that you want to see in the future that I can go ahead and go kind of in-depth on. Take a second to acknowledge how cute my dog is right here. So adorable. Just passed out. Adorable. I'm tickling its butt. Anyway, bye guys.